Former senior advisor to President George W. Bush, Karl Rove, is offering a withering new criticism of Donald Trump. In a recent interview with MSNBC's Ari Melber, which first aired on the network last night, Rove tore into Trump for his calls to pardon those who stormed the Capitol on January 6th. What those people did when they violently attacked the Capitol in order to stop a constitutionally mandated meeting of the Congress to accept the results of the Electoral College is a stain on our history. And every one of those sons of who did that, we ought to find them, try them, and send them to jail. And, and, if, and, if, and one of the critical mistakes made in this campaign is that Donald Trump has now said, I'm going to pardon those people because they're hostages. No, they're not. They're thugs. I'm a Republican. I don't want to have a Democrat president. I want to have a Republican president. But we're facing as a country a decision, and you all, everybody gets to make it, as to what kind of leadership we're going to have. And to me, it is a mistake on the part of the Trump campaign to allow the president's impulses to identify himself with the people who assaulted the Capitol rather than people who stand for law and order. Yeah. So pretty strong words there. And Rove has been critical of Trump before. But Eugene, what's the Biden campaign's approach here? There are obviously a lot of very, there are some Republicans who are deeply critical of Donald Trump. We, Liz Cheney, Mitt Romney, Karl Rove. How does the Biden campaign plan to utilize their words and potentially even get them to appear on behalf of the current president? It was also Chris Christie. There are all these senators who have stayed away from Donald Trump. I mean, criticized him, um, Lisa Murkowski, Susan Collins, these kind of folks. And right there, we're looking at a, a, our colleague, Jonathan Martin, did this amazing pro, uh, uh, column asking this exact question, why hasn't Biden called Christie? And we talked to campaign officials. What they say, essentially, is that their focus right now is on the voters, right? That they are talking to Republican voters. You have seen ads um, where they are obviously leaning into the words of Republicans, uh, people who have run against Donald Trump in this in, in what was a, what was supposed to be um, a competitive primary um, and has some, since dropped out. And they'll probably use Carl, Rove, Carl Rove's um, words in order to do that. The question is whether or not they're actually going to reach out to the people. And I think what's on their mind is nowadays, Everyone kind of has an opinion on Joe Biden and Donald Trump. And so asking Chris Christie or having um, someone like Carl Rove, I guess on the stump for them, um, would not be as, would maybe not be as useful as it was in the old days. But we also have to look to 2020 when they had um, the Ohio, former Ohio Governor John Kasich at the actual convention, um, Cindy McCain, who now works um, as an ambassador with the administration. Um, at the um, convention. So it's likely they will do something like that again, um, but they they don't seem that interested in reaching out to the, the um, lawmakers or the folks at the top of the, or what used to be the top of the Republican Party, and more so focusing on talking to those kind of independent-minded Republican voters or moderate voters at this point. Yeah, we can certainly see if that strategy changes in the months ahead. Politico's Eugene Daniels, thank you for starting us off this morning. We really appreciate it. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.